Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your November 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like I said, I'm focusing on love, but this can apply in different areas of your life. So just take what fits and leave what don't. You guys know the drill, so we'll go ahead and get started right away. I want to thank you guys for um, coming to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, your focus this month is building blocks. So uh, you are starting over. The 28 breaks down to a 10. 10 breaks down to a 1 in numerology, which is a new beginning. So when you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have. By building them on a foundation of honesty, humility, and clear communication with a genuine desire to know each other, you are moving toward laying the groundwork for your relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are repaired and strengthened here as well. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than you are apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you could be uh, rebuilding a relationship with somebody of your past, Leo, or you are manifesting in a brand new connection that's going to be built so strong it will withstand any storm the two of you can um, find along your path. So let's see what the Romance Angels have for you in November. Thank you. All right. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Bottom of your deck is stay optimistic about your love life. So you're not going to see this relationship coming for some of you. But uh, know that this truly is a romance of a lifetime. That it will last your lifetime because it's going to be built on the right things with the right in the right way all right your card from the gypsy fortunes is the six so let's see what that is all about i'm still learning this deck as well i like these cards though they're kind of different so thank you for being patient while i am learning them it says you are gifted and fortunate people love you and care about you you have many reasons to celebrate and enjoy life right now uh, the flower card is about acknowledging self-worth. You are worthy of all your wonderful gifts. Give your battered ego a boost by naming your wonderful qualities as many as the flowers. Look for hidden qualities shown in the unwrapped gift. There, are some, there is also a warning here. Don't forget to water the flowers and nourish and take care of yourself so your qualities can shine. Don't keep them under wraps. You deserve to be seen. So, Gypsy Wisdom, one flower will not make garland, but many will make a string of beauty. So, you have many talents that you're not letting the world see for some of you. Um, know that you deserve this love coming in and that you have a lot to offer. Um, you, you could be getting out of a difficult relationship where somebody didn't see your value. Um, that kind of took a knock to your ego, that kind of brought your self-esteem down. Make sure you're nourishing and watering those flowers and know your value and worth because you are very valuable to the world. All right, where you're currently at, Leo. You have the Magician and the Five of Cups in reverse. So getting over that person of the past that, you know, kind of brought down your self-esteem, but manifesting a brand new love into your life. The energy that you are moving or where you're headed where are Leo's headed in November? Wow, the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords in reverse. I'm being told to take them both. The, who's coming in for you, Leo? Is the Six of Cups. The potential for this relationship. What's Leo's potential for a relationship in November? Oh, I'm going to take the only one that flipped over, and that is the High Priestess. Spirit's advice for you, Leo. Spirit, what's your advice for Leos in November? Is the Page of Wands. That's the one that just flipped, but I put it back with the Ten of Wands came out as well. What you don't see coming is the Ace of Swords. And your potential outcome for the month of November. It's 
Leo's potential outcome. The Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Five of Wands. It's clarified with the Sun and the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. This is a really nice uh, reading. I hope you guys can see that okay. Hopefully that'll be good. So, okay, so you're getting out of this time of sadness, this depression, this uh, anxiety, worry, heartache, and you're truly um, stepping into your power here. If I can get this card picked up. Leo's, you're truly stepping in to um, a new beginning, a new chapter, uh, manifesting using the wisdom that you have gained over the heartache of the past, wisdom you have gained through the many challenges and lessons that you've learned. Um, you've really taken a licking in this lifetime, Leo. You really have been through some shit. But the positive of that, there's always a positive and negative to every situation. The positive of this negative situation is that you learned many things. You're wiser, stronger, and braver because of it. You now know uh, how not to do things. So now you are manifesting something beautiful. Um, taking the knowledge you've learned along the way and putting it to work for you in manifesting this new beginning, this new chapter. Um, where this is headed is the Three of Swords. You're healing that broken heart, allowing those swords to fall out after a difficult situation. Um, by you healing your heart and, and um, working on your balance, working on your inner peace, your inner balance, working on letting things go, you're truly manifesting the opportunity for a romance of a lifetime. Truly, somebody is coming in with this happily ever after card. Um, and happily ever after is different to every person. But what is going to make you emotionally happy, what's going to help you find that bliss in life is coming in for you. That's exactly where you're headed. The person coming in for you could be somebody of your past, could be someone from childhood, could have been somebody you've known for all your life, or it could be somebody from a past life. But this person that's coming in for you is going to be able to um, help this connection flourish in the way uh, that you truly have, have um, envisioned your relationship, how you want it to go. And look at the flowers in the cups. They're going to help see, help you see your gifts. This person's going to help you see your, how much you shine. This person's going to help you um, see that you truly are um, somebody important, somebody special. This person is going to make beautiful memories with you um, and help you grow in ways you couldn't have imagined. In the potential for a relationship, this person is going to help bring you balance as well. Um, as are you. You are the yin and yang uh, in this relationship. Um, your emotions will be able to flow with, with, you know, freely. And you will um, be gaining some knowledge of the spirit realm. Um, your gifts could be increasing. Um, that could be your natural gifts that you need to let shine. You're really figuring out how to keep a foot in both worlds and work with the divine very strongly. Um you could be doing this in secret. You could be not telling people that you have these gifts. And that's what the universe is telling you by it's time to let your gifts shine. It's time to show the world what you can do because you are magical. You are, you know, majestic in that in that way that you have special gifts to um, be able to share with the world. Spirit's advice is that page of wands to be enthusiastic about life again, to be excited about getting out and discovering new worlds. It's about um, following your passion and bliss without any worry about what people think, feel, say. Um, what you have coming for you but you don't know yet is the divine truth. The divine is going to hand you an opportunity to live your truth um, with the success um, that the, of divine protection. This is coming into your own power. This is coming into who you're truly meant to be. And um, it it's coming in right under the high priestess. So um, what you don't see coming is the person that's coming in for you is going to um, not only match your vibration, but they are going to see the truth in you. They're going to see the beauty in you, um, but they're also going to encourage you to let those gifts shine, to walk, talk, and, and live your truth. Um, and this is a relationship that is protected by the universe. It is protected by the divine. 
um, to be successful. And the outcome of this connection will be an offer of love. Moving forward and being able to follow your heart. Moving forward without worry um, and having somebody to share it with. Somebody is coming in with a big time love offer for you. Um, and it will be done the right way because you're starting at the bottom. You're starting at the beginning. Building that, that base, that foundation. Um, healing yourself first before you get into another relationship. Um, you know, helping each other grow and see each other's value. Moving forward without worry of what people think or say. Having enthusiasm about life again. Because you're walking and talking your truth with the um, love of another at your side. The bottom of the deck in shared energy. You have a lot of internal conflict about this. You're scared to love again, Leo. You're scared to let this person in and you're fighting it. But go with the flow. Allow things to naturally happen. Because this person is meant to be on your path. This person is going to help you be the person that you're meant to be. And they're going to give you the courage to move forward in the future um, with the path that is illuminated in front of you. Letting your gifts shine. So let's clarify these a little bit. Leo, what a, what a cool reading for you guys. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse and the Magician where they're currently at? Why is this? Why is this where they're currently at? Leo's November. Thank you. Wow. Leo, look at you. It's because this is who you truly are. You're coming into balance. You're um, allowing things to leave your life that no longer suit you. Even though it broke your heart in the past, you're letting it go. You're reclaiming your throne. You're taking back your life. You're a visionary. You're an entrepreneur. You are ready to live your life with your true heart's desire and your heart on your sleeve, creating a new beginning, using those gifts you have learned, taking those lessons and putting them to good use, creating an, as if by magic, a whole new situation um, that, that you have been hoping for. And where this is headed, why is the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups here? It's heading to a fulfillment, uh, a life of fulfillment. It's heading towards, um, yeah, it's heading towards being emotionally fulfilled. Um, and you have a sharp mind, Leo. You're going to receive a message from somebody in the near future that's going to um, turn you in the right direction and get you on your path. Um Maybe after doing some some snooping, you're seeing that this person is no longer worth your time. Um, but you're truly going to start developing your own uh, gifts as well as investing in your own happiness. You could be taking some classes as well to help develop these gifts for some of you. Um, and it can be gifts of all kinds. It doesn't have to be like supernatural gifts. It could be, you know, you're taking classes to get a higher position at your job. You're... You know, whatever it is that you're talented at, whatever it is that you're gifted at, that is what you're going to be able to start doing um, and and uh, doing very well. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Knight of Swords. So this person's coming in very quickly, almost like that knight in shining armor. And that's why you are being very cautious because you're not sure they came in so fast out of nowhere. You're not sure if they're there for the right reasons. But this person just knows what they want. They aren't afraid to take action. They have uh, wanted to approach you for quite some time, and now they are. They're coming in and wanting a relationship with you. Uh, in the potential for this relationship, two angels of balance or two cards of balance. Bottom of the deck, judgment. This is angelically protected to the hilt. Wow, and your wish is coming true. So this person is balanced. They're emotionally healthy. They're ready for a relationship. They want to give as much as you give. This is truly two souls marrying into becoming one. Um, this is your connection to the divine becoming that much stronger. Your spirituality reaching higher levels than you've ever experienced. Um, your intuition is just on point and, and leading you in just the right direction. Why is the page of wands here as the advice? All right, the Ten of Swords, to release and let go. The advice is to let go of the past. Um, the swords have, they've done and killed this relationship. Walk away, move forward, be enthusiastic about the future again. Discover that there's other people out there in this world that would love and die to have you. 
Um, so leave the relationship that's dead in the past because it's leading you. Look, the page is turning away from the Ten of Swords and looking right at the Two of Cups. A soulmate energy coming in for you. Um, and divinely protected. Why is the Ace of Swords here and what they don't know? So you're going to receive some divine information from the universe. Um, and what you don't know is your connection to spirit will strengthen. What you don't know is that you could be a visionary, a spiritual teacher. What you don't know is there could be a mentor coming into your life to help you see the divine truth, help you uh, fine-tune those uh, spiritual gifts if that's what you have. And not only that, but to bring you a solid uh, structured commitment between you and another person and you and the divine um, that's going to be very successful but first you must invest in your own happiness leo and move into the direction um, where you're going to be happiest um, by you doing this it's going to bring you in this love offer why is the knight of cups here Why is the Knight of Cups here for Leo? Thank you. Wow. And there you are at the top of your game, sitting on your throne, not chasing anybody, knowing that the right person is going to be drawn to you, knowing that the right person is going to come in, making that love offer to you. Because like a moth to a flame, you draw in the love offers like crazy in November. Um, Leos, you could have numerous love offers, um, but that's because you're warm, you're kind, you're gifted, you're... Um, you're just the total package as well as attractive and, and very um, sexually attractive to boot. Um, you're moving forward towards victory. You're moving forward um, away from the conflict, away from the fighting, the uh, drama, the internal conflict. You're moving forward in and towards success. You're about to do the victory lap here, Leos, because uh, the divine is protecting you with this cloak that goes over the chariot. You're riding away from the tower. You're leaving all the drama in the, in the past. And you're moving forward in search of your true self and in search of true love. You are making a decision and a choice to no longer feel out of balance, to no longer be juggled, to no longer feel like your emotions don't matter, to no longer be on this emotional roller coaster. You are taking off the blindfold. You are seeing things for what they are. And you're allowing things to change. You're getting off the ride that you've been riding for far too long, for some of you a couple years, and you are truly taking charge of your life, knowing that you deserve this. You don't need to chase anybody. Love will come to you. You don't need to be juggled by anybody. You deserve the whole entire package, and that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get a beautiful commitment, and the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant comes in right underneath the High Priestess and the temperance card so a lot of you have spiritual gifts that are going to just become insanely strong but um, it's also going to be a very strong loving commitment that's based on balance truth fairness and uh, love for one another shared between the two and you're making that choice to go out and find that you're allowing the the change to happen and you're becoming successful within that change um because you're being put on the path that you're meant to be on. The chariot rides to the star. The star heals. The stars align in the perfect um, placement of divine timing. And your sun shines, warming your soul, shining on your path, letting you know what direction you need to go in. But most importantly, this is giving you the courage to break free, to break free from anybody that holds you back, to have the courage to do what it is that you want, to have the innocence of the fool um, setting out on a new journey. This is stepping into your soul's purpose, stepping into your path of enlightenment, your ascension. And with the star there, it is divine timing. The timing is now, Leos, to be who you truly are. You are the sun. So it's divine timing. The time is now to step into who you are, to step into your uh, divine path, to have the courage and brave um, to set out on your own journey to let your gifts shine flowers cannot grow without sunshine so let your gifts grow let yourself be known let yourself shine and know that this new person coming in for you is the relationship of a lifetime it's going to withstand any storm that comes across the two of you so don't be afraid to step out and um 
don't be afraid to let this love offer come in because this truly is the building blocks. This truly is the new beginning to the to the best relationship that you have ever had, the strongest committed relationship you've ever had, one that's divinely protected by the heavens, built on truth, trust, clarity, and uh, most of all, divine love. So, Leos, you have a beautiful November coming in for you. Get out there and manifest this. Not only is uh, this a divine protected relationship, you're coming in as a power couple, full of passion, full of drive, full of vision, ready to take on the world. And um, by you doing that, you're truly, truly going to um, light up the, the world. You're going to uh, do what it is that you came to do setting out on a path with a true match, a true partner, a power couple in the making. So know that this is for you. Believe it's true. Know that the your happily ever after is out there and you're going to get it now that you have healed from the past. So very beautiful for you. Um, Leo's once again, this is a romance of a lifetime. So believe it. It's yours. It's here for you. November is going to be absolutely amazing for you guys. I hope you have a beautiful uh, month. Leos, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please drop me a like if you would so kindly, please. I send you guys all love and light. God bless.